and I was referring generally vaguely, you know, to the sex abuse that had taken place. He knows I know about it. He knows I know about it. After all that's happened and all that took place in your family early and all, I thought you might want to do what you could for her, because she certainly needs the help, and you're in a position to be able to help her. And he said, excuse me, Dr. Atwood, I should help her, and starts yelling at me. I should help her? After that whole, I'm quoting him, after that whole sordid business, these are these exact words, that she put me through, I should help her, excuse me, Dr. Atwood? <laughs> He was, the sordid business was the fact that she had testified against him in court when she was 13 years old, because that's what had happened. And, and legal arrangements had been made, so children's custody was re removed from the family, and protections were put in place, and he couldn't be around the children anymore without somebody being a staff chaperone and so on like that. But what he was referring to, that whole sordid business, was not his sexual abuse of her. It was her incomprehensible having turned on him and said he did something terrible to her. That's what he's talking about. He got him in so much trouble with the courts and almost put him in jail, but he managed to escape prison time because the family needed him to support them. And when I got off the phone with him that day, I felt like I was insane. I, you know, I was saying, I thought you could, after what happened and the, the damage that was done and so on, it would be good if you could maybe help her out. He says, I should help her, that sordid business. I just, I felt like my brain was scrambled. Have you ever talked to somebody, you know, where you just, you, th you think you're making sense, and they react in such a way that it just twists your brain in about 14 different ways. It cuts your corpus callosum, knocks off the brain stem, cancels, it cancels the frontal lobes, all this. That's what I felt like. But it, it actually turned out to be helpful because I, I realized, no wonder she went crazy. I almost went crazy after a 20-minute conversation with the guy. I almost went out of, right out of my mind. I felt, like, I felt like going to a bridge and jumping off and throwing myself into the water. He, would, he played with reality there.